Okay. Now I'm I'm painting this a little large. I think mostly because I want to make sure that it, it reads for everybody on the screen. But normally I would be painting this about this size. Okay. I would I would it would be a lot smaller and it'd be a lot more. Uh, it'd be a lot more less about the details because, you know, as I zoom in, I naturally start to noodle. It's like a natural part of my process. Okay, I know that. This, my process sometimes I can't control. So what do I do is I kind of now um, need to make it small. It's one of the ways I, 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 I try to control my weakness. So if you know your strengths and you know your weakness, then um, then you can kind of create the right, you know, like like system, you know, or the right kind of like steps, you know, um, to do that. Okay. So for example, like, you know, maybe you aren't, maybe you're really comfortable drawing figures, right? So when you're doing like a keyframe or something like that, for example, you don't have to look up a lot of reference for drawing in a character because you're very comfortable with it. But now when it comes to colors, let's say you're a bit weaker at that or you're not as comfortable, okay? And sometimes I think about it as the same thing. Your comfort level with something and the weakness kind of go hand in hand, you know? So don't necessarily think about it as like, oh my God, this is like the area that I'm lacking and you just kind of focus on that or it negatively, you know, is what I'm talking about. But you kind of focus in it as like an area that you can now uh, use as a target to uh, to uh, utilize your personal time or you know extracurricular time to just develop that area of focus. Yeah.